In the frozen wilderness of the Arctic, two foxes roam the land. One, a creature of fiery red, with a coat as warm as its spirit. The other, a phantom of the snow, with fur that mirrors the stark whiteness of the ice. Today we pit these two remarkable creatures against each other in a battle of survival. Who would reign supreme in one of the world's harshest conditions? The Red Fox versus the Arctic Fox. The Red Fox, scientifically known as Vulpes Vulpes, is a creature of vast adaptability. From the lush forests of Europe to the deserts of Africa, the red fox is found across much of the northern hemisphere. With its iconic russet coat and bushy tail, the red fox is a master of survival. But how does it fare in the unrelenting chill of the Arctic? And what of the Arctic fox? The Arctic fox, Vulpes lagopus, is a true child of the ice. Its very existence is built for extremes, surviving temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius. With fur as white as the snow beneath its paws, it is a ghost of the frozen tundra. But today, we shall focus not just on their habitats, but on their behaviors, their strategies for survival, and their stark differences. Let's begin with the red fox the master of the adaptable diet, the opportunistic hunter. The red fox is omnivorous, its menu ranging from small mammals, birds, and insects to fruits, berries, and even human leftovers. In fact, the red fox is one of the most opportunistic animals, always on the lookout for the easiest meal. It has been known to hunt alone but will also scavenge, making use of whatever food it can find. In contrast, the Arctic fox's diet is far more focused. Though it is also an opportunist, it specializes in hunting small mammals like lemmings and voles. It is a skilled hunter, capable of hearing the faintest movement under the snow, and will often pounce with precision sometimes burrowing into the snow to catch its prey by surprise. The Arctic fox's diet varies with the seasons. During the frigid winter months, it may rely on scavenging carcasses left behind by larger predators like polar bears or wolves. In the summer, however, it can take advantage of birds, eggs, and even berries. Yet, despite its adaptability, it lacks the red fox's diversity in food sources. One of the most striking differences between these two foxes is their ability to adapt to human environments. The red fox is a true urban survivor. Across Europe and North America, it has learned to live in cities, scavenging from trash cans and feasting on the bounty of human settlements. It is, in fact, often considered a pest, living close to people and taking advantage of urban sprawl. The Arctic fox, by contrast, remains a creature of solitude, far from the hustle and bustle of human civilization. The harsh conditions of the Arctic are its domain, far from the roads, towns, and cities that the red fox has learned to navigate. The Arctic fox's life is a constant struggle against the elements, and it thrives only in the most remote and inhospitable places on Earth. Speed is another critical factor in survival. The red fox is faster and more agile, with an impressive burst of speed that allows it to chase down prey or evade predators. It can run at speeds up to 30 miles per hour, an impressive feat for a creature of its size. Its long legs and sharp reflexes 
make it an excellent hunter when the opportunity arises. But speed is not the Arctic fox's greatest asset. In fact, it is a slower and more methodical hunter. The Arctic fox is built for endurance, not speed. It can travel vast distances in search of food, its thick coat providing insulation against the bitter cold. It may not have the red fox's sprinting power, but it has evolved to survive in the most extreme conditions. Now, let's consider the most obvious difference, their coats. The red fox's fur is a rich red with white undersides and a bushy tail. This coloration helps it blend into forests, fields, and even deserts, offering camouflage in a variety of landscapes. In winter, its coat thickens, but it remains primarily red, though with some lighter hues. The Arctic fox, however, is a true masterpiece of adaptation. Its coat changes with the seasons, white as winter's snow, brownish gray in summer. In winter, its fur becomes thick and dense, providing extraordinary insulation against the biting cold. Underneath, a thick layer of fat helps to keep the Arctic fox warm in the face of temperatures that would kill most other creatures. The Arctic fox's paws, too, are covered in fur, which allows it to move across the snow with ease. And the pads themselves are adapted to withstand the freezing ground. Despite their differences, both of these foxes share a remarkable ability to endure in environments that would defeat most creatures. Their survival strategies, though different, are equally effective. The red fox is the embodiment of flexibility, an adaptable, opportunistic survivor that can thrive in almost any environment. Whether in cities or forests, it is a creature that can make its way through the world with cunning and speed. The Arctic fox, on the other hand, is a creature of resilience, built for the harshest climates, with every element of its body honed to survive the frozen wilderness. Its life is a constant battle against the elements, but in that battle, it excels. And so, in the end, it is not a question of which fox is superior. Each is uniquely adapted to its world. Each a marvel of evolutionary design. The red fox conquers the world with speed and versatility. The Arctic fox thrives where few others can survive, in the icy wilderness of the far north. Two foxes, two worlds, and a shared story of extraordinary survival. Which would you choose? The fiery, quick-witted red fox or the silent, enduring Arctic fox? Perhaps the real answer is that both, in their own ways, are champions of the wild. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.